So let's take a look at this board I designed. This one has a ESP32 Rover Wi-Fi module on it. It has a LPC55S69 microcontroller. It's a dual core with two M33s each running at 100 megahertz. It also has a BridgeTag BT815 graphics controller. I'm going to plug in a 8 inch LCD display and let the BT815 drive it. I've ported over River D's graphics software that supports the BT815. I can have that running on the LPC 55S69. The LPC part has a high speed SPI port that runs up to 50 megahertz. The BT815 LCD graphics controller normally runs at about 30 megahertz on the SPI interface. Uh, I have tested it at 30 and have cranked up the high speed SPI port up to 50 megahertz and it still seems to work just fine. So let's go ahead and plug this in. I'll be plugging in a uh, New Haven LCD, 8 inch LCD display. It's normally used for the Beagle Bone Black, but in this case I'm going to plug it in to my headers, black headers here and let the BT815 drive it. Uh, this also has the Seed Grove uh, connector interface system okay, plugged onto it as well. So let's plug this in. And we should turn it on, get some video. It's got a couple demo programs from the River D library. And this particular processor has what's called a power quad like math accelerator. It'd be kind of cool to write some DSP functions and display the results on the display. That'd be kind of cool. Let's see here. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, so this powers up. And there's our bridge tech logo. And our bouncing ball demo. Let me reset here and look at that again. Here's our sign on. It's kind of fuzzy. Let's try this again here. Yeah. It says ESP room. The connector on the PCB will PCB footprint will support either the rover or the room module. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, the room module right now has MicroPython loaded into it. I've run Zephyr, a uh, uh, real-time operating system on the LPC part. I'm trying to get MicroPython to run on that.